you know, every time we cover one of these shows or we write about electric airplanes, the knotty problem of batteries comes up. Electric airplanes and drones don't have enough endurance because the batteries aren't there yet. And although we keep hearing better batteries are on the horizon, they're not there yet. So drone manufacturers like the ones represented here at AUVSI are turning to other technologies which are generically called range extenders. And these include everything from gasoline electric hybrids to solar cells to hydrogen fuel cells and even a charge on the fly technology. So in this video we're going to take a look at some of these and let's start with the fuel cells. Okay, so we're Intelligent Energy. Uh, we develop and produce fuel cells, uh, hydrogen fuel cell technology, which is an alternative power source to things like batteries, diesel generators, car engines, um, and other engine technology. So specifically here today, um, we've developed a lightweight fuel cell power module for the UAV industry, and that will replace the battery technology that currently is on those drones. Um, the advantage of the fuel cell over the battery is that you'll get extended flight time. Um, so the difference between a fuel cell and a battery is a fuel cell will produce electricity whereas a battery stores um, the electricity and once the battery is depleted you then have to obviously recharge it. So with a fuel cell we use hydrogen as a fuel. Hydrogen is combined with oxygen from, from the air. Uh, a chemical reaction takes place that produces electricity and a small amount of heat and a very small amount of water vapour. Um, the, the advantage on flight time is you typically get around 20 minutes on this type of drone using a battery. Uh, with a fuel cell we can get, uh, depending on the payload, we can get an hour or an hour plus. So this, is, uh, this will give 650 watts of average power. It can, there's a small LiPo battery that will assist any peak requirements up to around a kilowatt. Um, it's a 1.5 litre cylinder that carries hydrogen at 310 bar pressure. Specifically, the energy densities are around, around 300 watt-hours per kilogram. Um, we've gone through the development cycle. Um, we have FCC compliance now. Um, we're going through the last round of certification, uh, and we are producing and selling to customers as we speak. This is a, a Ballard Protonics uh, UAV power system, uh, 600 watt net output. Um, it was developed uh, over the last 10 or so years, uh, initially with uh, funding from the Naval Research Lab. Uh, they flew this particular unit on the uh, Ion Tiger and C Robin XFC systems and have accumulated hundreds of hours of flight time. Um, it's a liquid cooled proton exchange membrane fuel cell system uh, where we use a liquid cooling loop to manage the stack temperature to keep the performance up. Uh, we use a heat exchanger to reject that heat through uh, free stream air flowing through it. Um, we provide several options for power output, a fully hybridized version where it's coupled with a rechargeable battery that provides extra power for takeoff and, and dash maneuvers, um, and we can recharge that battery in flight. Um, also, we can provide a means for just taking power directly off the fuel cell itself. It's a slightly more efficient approach, and depending on the customer needs, uh, that sometimes is uh, useful. Um, the benefits of this system, uh, we tend to find our niche in the large group one to uh, group two size aircraft. Um, on the, the higher end of the scale, where we're uh, uh, replacing internal combustion engine systems, uh, we can provide uh, longer, uh, shorter, or longer maintenance, uh, about a thousand hours before any kind of overhaul is required, reduced acoustic signature, higher throttle ability, uh, ease of hybridization. Um, on the lower end, we can provide two to five times increase in endurance over uh, standard batteries. Gasoline electric hybrids aren't really anything new. We've seen them in drones before, starting to see them in manned aircraft. And generally, in drones, they follow the same design path that automotive uh, hybrids do. But they have to be especially small and light and uh, there's some really cool little engines being developed for these things. So in the next little segment, we're going to take a look at a uh, gasoline hybrid system from a company called Pegasus. Essentially, the whole project was started to address the endurance problems with UAVs. 
Uh, largely that stems from the battery technology currently in place. So the conventional lithium polymer chemistry uh, has an energy density that for a lot of applications is insufficient. Uh, generally you're looking at flight times of you know 12 to 15 minutes for these large mass manufactured UAVs and uh, so we sought out to address that by using gasoline as an energy storage method as opposed to lithium polymer chemistry. So as a result we developed a hybrid powertrain that could take gasoline convert it to electricity and manage the power such that you can yield much improved endurance in uh, the large heavy lift drones out there today. The engine itself is an internal combustion engine. So for example, we have a two cylinder 70cc and a single cylinder 35cc. It's based off of a desert aircraft engine core um, and it has uh, a bunch of uh, redesigned features uh, such that it accepts a generator instead. The generator um, is designed to output across a wide variety of voltages and such that it can provide uh, pretty much any voltage between 24 and 50 volts uh, required by the drone manufacturer. So the engine itself was completely re redesigned uh, aside from a few key components uh, provided by Desert Aircraft. The engine was redesigned by the Pegasus, Aircraft, or Pegasus Aeronautics team. So the weight of the overall system, which includes all the fuel pumping units, or sorry, the fuel pumping unit, the coolant pumping unit, the generator control unit, and the engine, is approximately 2.6 kilograms. We could refer to that as the base weight for the 35, and 3.5 kilograms for the uh, G70. So this guy has a target uh, one and a half uh, hour flight time for approximately a five kilogram payload. Um, it has the potential to increase as we improve the system and as we uh, in increase the uh, the capabilities of the tuning and whatnot, but in general that was the, the target for this particular drone on the part of the manufacturer. Once again, I, uh, once again, I should uh, emphasize that we aren't a platform manufacturer, we're just a powertrain manufacturer. So this platform was designed by a company that uh, purchased and developed a uh, platform around our powertrain and they had these goals in mind when designing it. The next thing we'll look at is a technology I think we all wish we had for charging our cell phones on the fly. This uses an energy transmission network to charge drone batteries while they're flying. Pretty clever. A lot of high school physics here. I'm not sure I completely understand it, but let's try. So, okay, what we have here is a drone equipped with wireless charging system and rapid battery charging set. Uh, so, what we really can do here, we can transfer energy wirelessly from a transmitter to the receiver on this drone. So, uh, the thing is that we really can uh, charge this quite big heavy drone in a few minutes for the full battery set. So, uh, with system like this, drone can really stay indefinitely on the fly. Even more, if we deploy a network with this sort of charging stations, drone can fly indefinitely because it always can uh, reach closest charging spot if it needs more power. So thus we can enable delivery, uh, security, you know, monitoring, surveillance in the cities, for example. The, the typical range of charging is really uh, formed by the uh, transmitting antenna and practically this is a loop in 10 to 20 meters in diameter and uh, as long as drone are inside this loop or say spherical area formed by this loop so below or above the loop too uh, you, uh, you, you can get enough power to charge in flight. We transmit at a roughly 100 kilohertz frequency uh, bandwidth. Mm -hmm. 